Hello, everybody. God bless you and welcome back to KPTV. I'm back here with another video. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up the video and comment in the comment section. This helps us out in our YouTube channel. I hope and pray to God that you are enjoying the content here. So on yesterday, I did a video that was literally talking about uh, the Waymo new cars that they are coming out with and they are um, driving by themselves. There's no one in the car that is driving the vehicle. I don't know if you saw that video, uh, but I'll put a link in the description box below or the comment section so you could check out that video. But I was a little bit short-sighted. I didn't quite see how uh, far-sighted this would be or how much uh, trouble this would actually cause. I'm thinking uh, one-dimensional. I'm only thinking about the people that drives taxi cabs. So uh, this video on today is a little bit different and it, it was able to make me understand how much the Waymo cars were really be able to put people out of jobs all over the world. Can you imagine um, right now they're actually talking about AI actually driving the airplanes. And I do know that most airplanes are driven uh, on autopilot and the pilots are just, just there to start uh, the uh, uh, takeoff and they're there to land the vehicle, uh, but they're actually talking about not having any pilots in planes at all. So can you imagine truck drivers are now, it's not gonna have anybody in the truck and different things like that. So I wanna show you this video. I want your comments and your thoughts and what do you think about this, but can you imagine all that would take place because of this, let's take a look at uh, our video on today so we can get, uh, have a discussion on it. So this video is a family that is getting ready to order themselves some pizza. Okay. They want pizza. I love pizza. I don't know about you, but they want them some pizza. So here they are they are ordering themselves some pizza, okay? So let's take a look at how uh, this is going to go. Let's take a look at this, okay? They want some pizza. Domino's at that, so you know Domino's is really good. Pizza Hut is amazing as well. But here is the pizza guy coming around the corner but only to find out. Hi, your Domino's is here. Input the last four digits of your phone number. You got the it. Domino's heatwave container is what? open. You can safely remove your order now. Thanks for using Domino's self-driving delivery vehicle. Oh, that's cool. Are you seeing this? Let's play this again. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So they're thinking this is a cool idea. And in, in, in a sense of innovation, is pretty much is. Hi, your Domino's is here. Input the last four digits of your phone number. Wow. So he said, thanks for using Domino's self-driving vehicle. Are you understanding what this is going to do to the industry? Pretty much there are a lot of people, get away King, uh, my dog is down there. Can you imagine what this is going to do to the industry of uh, those that drive vehicles? Uh, those that drive vehicles as far as DoorDash. What about those that drive uh, like the Pizza Hut guys? So yesterday we saw 
uh, someone that was a taxi cab driver. No one was in the vehicle. Now we talked a little bit about what this means for the end times. I don't understand how people are sitting on the fence and they're still trying to figure out whether these are the end times that we're living in. But you've got to understand that once all of these people are put out of work, then what there is to look forward to is uh, everybody will be getting some kind of payment from the government or the GVT. And what does that mean? That means a lot of uh, control. You know, people will be under control. You know, no jobs. Everyone has the same exact kind of house. Um, everyone will have the same everything. I read an article the other day, yesterday, and I'll probably uh, come on here and read it to you guys. But uh, there is a new uh, thing that the government is doing, uh, the United States rather, where they spent $22 million on an invention of clothing that will be able to audibly hear you, track you, and everything they will be able to surveillance you through your clothing now i taught on this almost seven maybe ten years ago and i began to tell them that everything down to a bobby pin a bean will all ha be able to be tracked this is what they're doing and you have to wonder why we as a church have to wake up and understand that time is winding up so if there are many people in your family um, loved ones and friends that don't know jesus as their lord and savior this is the hour that they need to get closer to the lord okay so like never before so uh i just wanted to share that with you i think i had another video and for those of you that are just on this video please stay tuned to the very end because i forgot to say that at the beginning because i do want to share with you uh something and it is something that you need to uh, take a look at, but it will not be able to be uh, something that we can share on this platform. So I'm always going to say that, and it's always going to be at the end so that we won't be recognized for uh, what we're doing. Okay. So uh, another video that I wanted to share with you um, is a little bit alarming and i'm going to put it on the screen let me remove this one this video is about um china and we know that there is a lot going on with them for some reason i don't understand why people don't understand uh what is going on people in the positions that they are in why don't they understand what is going on as well y'all know what i'm trying to say right so let me go to this video i won't put it on the screen uh but i will just let well look i put it on the screen i want to remove it and i want you to just listen to it okay um let's see if i because you know they don't really like the uh the the clock the one that say tick tock they don't like that so let's see if I can let it play and you can just listen. Let's see. Give me just a second. There we go. Hold up. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. China has begun funding public schools in the U.S. I really don't know what's going on right now in America, but it looks like China has given $17 million to the American public school system through Confucius institutions and other programs. On top of that, China owns over 380,000 acres of land in the U.S. And also they own over $800 billion of U.S. debt. I don't know about you guys, but like I said before, they always put it in the movies. It sounds like a secret invasion. It's already happening. Meanwhile, on the other side of the chessboard, Putin writes off $23 billion for Africa. It seems like World War III has already happened and we lost, but what do you guys think? Comment below. Hold up, let me make sure I'm reading this right. China has begun funding public schools in the US? I Let's really don't something. know what's going on right now in America, but it looks like China has given $17 million to the American public school system through Confucius institutions 
and other programs. On top of that, China owns over 380,000 acres of land in the US, and also they own over $800 billion of US debt. I don't know about you guys, but like I said before, they always put it in the movies. It sounds like a secret invasion is already happening. Meanwhile, on the other side of the chessboard, Putin writes off $23 billion for Africa. It seems like World War III has already happened and we lost, but what do you guys think? Comment below. Hold All on, right. let me make sure I'm reading so this right. So that is crazy. Um, it is happening. Things are happening. Um, there are so many things that is happening in our world today and we just have to be aware of it i wish i could find the article um that i read on yesterday about the clothing for those of you that are not familiar with it let me just take a look and see if i can find it um the article about the clothing um how they are actually going to be uh tagging all of the clothes and it will be something um that they will know exactly what you're doing. And so this is a lot to be concerned about here at the fueling station. We are only uh, revealing this information to you so that you can be prayerful. So hopefully you're doing that. We do pray about these uh, pressing topics. Okay, so I'm going to be reading to you um, this really quick. And uh, let's see if I can do that. Give me just a moment. Okay, so this is a very interesting topic topic to me because I am like floored, okay? So this says here, this says that the U.S., the U.S. government, uh, in uh, the U.S. government investing $22 million into developing surveillance clothing that can record and video that can record video and audio let me read that right okay that right there is mind-blowing i'm gonna read that one more time the u.s government is investing 22 million dollars into developing surveillance clothing that can record and audio record video and audio let's read a little bit of it it says uh wearable technology is quickly evolving by uh beyond fitbit uh apple watch and our aura rings i don't know how to pronounce that the federal government is reportedly fundling or funneling uh 20 <laughs> fundling funneling we know there's a lot of fun fundling going on 22 million they're funneling 22 million dollars into developing ready to wear clothing that can record audio video and geolocation data through something that is called the smart electrical powered and network textile system program or the S-M-A-R-T E-Pants, that's for short. It says for shorts, uh, according to the intercepts, the garments slate for production are slated for, the garments are slated for production, including the shirts, the pants, socks, and underwear, all of which are intended to be washable, uh, the intercepts reported the program presents the largest single investments to develop uh, active smart textile AST the feel move and function like any garment according to uh, according to an August 22 press release from the officials of the Director of National Surveillance. So this comes from them. Uh, the Smart E-Pants is being developed under the in Intelligence Advanced Research Project Activity and age an agency that describes itself on its website 
as investing in high risk, high payoff research programs to tackle some of the most difficult challenges of the agency and uh, disciplines in the intelligence community. They saying this is for the intelligence community. In other words, uh, funding uh, moonshot like underwear that's uh, as stretchable and washable as normal underwear, but can also record your every move. If successful, and I, I, I spoke about this years ago, and people laughed, but it's all right because God is confirming his word. It's successful through the garments, uh, through through the garments could significantly improve the capacity. The, uh, cap I can't even read this morning, y'all. I'm so sorry. Can improve the capabilities of those uh, working government agents like the Department of Defense. How many of y'all believe that? Put your hand down. First responders at the Department of Homeland Security, they saying this is for them. Those in the intelligence community are others working in high stress environments like crime scenes and armed controls. Uh, Dr. Kagler, the program manager for Smart ePants, explains in a press release for the IARPA. Kagler, who was previously a weapons instructor uh, with the United States, nations, United Nations, the UN, according to his LinkedIn page said in the IARPA's release as a former weapons inspector myself, I know how much hand carried electronics can interfere with my situational awareness at inspection sites. In other words, he doesn't want to have to hold anything, so he would prefer to be tracked with his clothes. He added in unknown environments, I'd rather have my hands free to grab ladders and handrails more firmly and keep from hitting my head than holding some device. Some are worried, though, that the Smart ePants program could lay the un the groundwork for more invasive forms of surveillances. Now, with that being said, with everything that is going on today, do you have to wonder if that's what it's going to result to? I mean, do you really believe that this is not going to come and to be something else that uh, we all believe that it is going to come down to, you know, the B system and the, uh, the, the days that we know are in the book of revelations where you won't be able to buy and sell. It talks about all of this kind of stuff. And so in order for, um, the enemy to have complete control and to be pretty much omnipresent, like God is and always knowing and knows what's going on. He has to have this kind of technology. And so for people that are still on the fence, I pray that they will get up off the fence and come on in the ark because the floods is coming. Guys, I don't want to make this a long video, but I did promise to you that there is something I want to share with you and show to you. So uh, I want you to go and take a look at this video that I'm about to share with you. Um, and I'm going to just put it on the screen. Hopefully you will go and take a look at it. I can't get into it, but I can show you what it is and you can look at it on your own. Very good video. That's all I could tell you, okay? That is the name of the video. And I'll just leave it right there. Guys, I hope that you enjoy this type of content. These are our informational videos that we usually do. And they usually are three hours long. I'm trying to give it to you in bite-sized pieces. Doing my very best. So please support what we're doing here. We love the comments on our three hour long videos. So we want to get them here too. Thumbs up the video, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.